Here's four reasons why I bought these four Mexican Silver Libertads. Stay tuned. T. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, uh, if you love Libertads, I have a feeling you're going to enjoy this video. I am going to uh, give you my rationale for buying these four beauties, and maybe that'll help uh, influence you in making your purchases. But before we do that, uh, you know you're going to like this video. If you're a Libertad lover, you're going to like this one. So hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I make lots of videos about Libertads and other silver and gold coins. So hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, so here, without any further ado, I am going to give you those four reasons why these beauties right here, before they wind up in this tube right here, uh, reasons why I purchased them today. Uh, reason number one. I love the Mexican Silver Libertad. It's as simple as that. Uh, this coin uh, just really speaks to me. And uh, I enjoy uh, looking at them and uh, adding them to my stack. And uh, behold, how beautiful they are. So, there. hey, this is my thing. I love Libertads. What can I say? Number two. Reason number two that I purchased these Libertads is simply that they were available at my LCS. And uh, hey, that's not always the case. You uh, walk into the, to an LCS and you ask for a Libertad. Uh, more often than not, uh, you are going to get the answer, uh, sorry, we don't have any. Uh, I was lucky enough that, of course, I walked into my LCS, uh, the Gold Depot, and I asked my buddy Rich, the owner, hey, do you have any Libertads today? He's used to hearing that question. And he said, no, but I have some coming in. Uh, would you like me to hold some for you? And I said, yes. He said, how many? And I said, four. Boom. That's what uh, kind of fit into my budget, uh, these four Libertads. Uh, I had uh, been uh, purchasing a little bit of gold, and uh, matter of fact, my last major purchase was gold, but the gold and silver ratio kind of dictates that it's, to me, in my mind, it's kind of a 50-50 split. So last time I bought gold, this time I bought silver, uh, next time might be gold again, uh, depending on where that GSR is. Hey, reason number three, and that was kind of a bonus reason uh, they're uh, working the GSR in, and by the way, uh, if speaking of Rich, my coin shop owner, uh, if you haven't seen my uh, video right before this Libertad video, uh, Honest Talk with a local coin shop owner, uh, check it out. Uh, it's been one of my uh, most popular videos in quite a long time and gotten lots of great comments. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, check it out. I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Anyway. Uh, on to reason number three. Uh, this 2020 Libertad, the mintage was 300,000 this year. And uh, relatively speaking, uh, that's pretty low. Now, especially compared to an American Silver Eagle or uh, something like that, it's way low. But even compared to other Libertad mintages, that's a relatively low mintage, 300,000. And you might say, well, hey, there have been other years with 300,000 or even less minted in that particular year. Uh, I would argue this. Uh, this year, 2020 Libertad, uh, you know, uh, made available late at the very end of the year, last year, uh, and shipped out and received by uh, folks who purchased them at late, de uh, you know, December, January. What I would say about this and this mintage is, um, I really think these are going to be kept in people's deep stacks. And I don't see these floating around. Uh, you don't see them as much uh, on any websites. Uh, on eBay, their prices are ridiculous. Forget about that. Uh, I see these 2020s winding up in people's deep stacks. And here's why. For one, uh, with my own eyes, I've seen uh, lots and lots of stackers buy whole tubes of these and I'm hey I'm working on my own tube as uh, as well and uh, guys are buying these up as much as they can in great quantities 
and I don't think they're going to be leaving these guys stacks. The other thing is that the Mexican Libertad has found newfound popularity like never before. The second half of 2020, now at the beginning of 2021, here we are March 17th, and by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, They are as hot as ever. Not only that, another reason to mention uh, these uh, low mintages, there are so many new stackers. Go to any local coin shop, ask your YouTube content providers. There's been an influx of all these new stackers coming in at the same time these Libertads have gone off the charts in popularity. So long story short, uh, low mintage, lots of new stackers, these things aren't going to be out on the market that much, maybe like previous years. And then finally, reason number four. Uh, reason number four is I believe the value of these Mexican Libertads will increase uh, dramatically over the years. Obviously, I'm a silver stacker, and I think the price of silver is going to go up uh, at the very least equal to inflation. Uh, My hope is that uh, with the industrial uses and more discoveries uh, uh, made by people who are just now getting into silver stacking, uh, I'm really hoping that uh, silver outpaces the inflation rate. All that being said, I think the collectability of these is uh, going to continue to rise. I think uh, the love of Libertad's Uh, is just going to keep getting uh, stronger and stronger and stronger. So that means the value of these uh, will will go up uh, quite a bit over the upcoming months and years. Okay, uh, that's all I have for you today, guys. Um, I'll uh, I'll put these away in this tube uh, later, but for right now, I'll just enjoy them uh, in these uh, beautiful old school flips that Rich provided for me. And uh, so, like I said, if you haven't seen uh, that video with my uh, local coin shop guy, uh, hey, click right here. This is it. And if you've already seen this one, hey, thanks for watching. Here's my subscription button. So if you haven't subbed yet, Here's your chance right here by clicking this little circle with my logo. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tee.